How's it going? It's been a minute. Yeah, it has. <laughs> Anything new? You know, just spring ball and school and classes and, you know, that sort of thing. So, the usual. How would you but, rate the competition right now between you and Quinn? Uh, I mean, you know, we make each other better. Um, that we bring uh, the best out of each other and just having competition is good. Um, you know, we're good friends and we support each other and, um, you know, it's a natural competition, but it's, it's been good so far. Hudson, what were, you, what were you able to learn from last year's competition that may be able to help you, you know, this year? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously with me and Casey's competition last year, um, you know, it's somewhat similar this year. And, um, you know, I, honestly, I just focus on myself and what I can do, um, just going in every day and uh, do the best that I can do. And um, hopefully things will take care of itself. So um, I try not to worry too much about the other guy and just and try to play uh, the best that I can play. You're, you're, you're older and you're, you're a little more mature. Um, how does that help your comfort level going into this this fall? Uh, I mean, a lot, honestly. Uh, just being in the system for another year obviously helps a lot. Um, this is my first time in college being in a system for two years. So um, just, you know, knowing the system a little bit better and uh, just trying to grow, you know, obviously um, does help a little bit. So, What would you say the biggest thing you need to work on from last year to this year was to help you be a better quarterback? Yeah, um, one is just being more comfortable in the pocket, um, staying in there, knowing when to leave and, you know, when to stay. Um, that's one thing that I've been working on, um, you know, being able to connect more on the deep balls, which is something that uh, we've been emphasizing. Uh, and then as well as just being more comfortable in the system. And, uh, you know, that takes time and reps, but um, it's coming along good this year. So. Do you have uh, <clears throat> nightmares from the Arkansas game? <laughs> it's just something that I learned from, honestly. Um, you know, obviously it didn't go the way that we wanted it to go. Uh, but for me, it's just a learning experience for me. So mm -hmm. um, just learn from it. Um, you know, and move on, and um, so. Do you think you, I mean, you're obviously a really good athlete, but, you know, we were all wondering why you didn't run more and take off more in the Arkansas game. Is, is that something that they would use your talents more if you get the job? Um, I mean, you know, that's ultimately up to Coach Sark yeah. um, and his decision, so um, I'm going to leave that one up on him. In the West Virginia game, though, you, you played a lot better. Um, but you also were hurt also towards the end there. Can you just kind of describe that one the growth there, but then sort of obviously that pain towards the end? Yeah, um, you know, going into the game, uh, when I got my opportunity um, and things started clicking a little bit, I kind of got into rhythm and um, it was going good. And then obviously uh, that injury um, didn't help. But, um, you know, just it, it felt good just to be out there and with the guys and just kind of get into rhythm. and. Um, feel more like myself, so. How hurt were you in that game? You seemed to just be hanging on by a thread. Yeah, I, I had a high ankle spring, so, um, you know, those those don't feel the best, but just try to try to toughen it out for the team, so. Now, what was the, uh, the experience like last year for you? You know, it's just a roller coaster of starting and then kind of shuffling in now with Casey and, you know, dealing with the injury at the end of the season. You know, just overall, what was it like for you? You know, honestly, it was just a learning experience, like I said, um, you know, learn from, from that season and move on and, and try to use my past experiences uh, and ways to help me for this year. Um, so honestly, just try to learn from it all. Uh, did, you, did, you, did you entertain entering the transfer portal? Why did you decide you wanted to be back here in, at Texas? I mean, this is this is where, you know, I've always wanted to play. It's been my dream school and, um, you know, there'll be competition everywhere. So um, just decided to give it, you know, my best shot. And, um, you know, a lot of it too was faith and, uh, and that sort of thing. So. Um, it's just it's just where I want to be um, at this at this moment. So we'll try to take advantage of it. But along those lines, I mean, a school like this is going to recruit. They're going to try to get five star guys at every position every single year, right? So in that respect, I mean, did it bother you that okay, some, here's someone who's coming from Ohio State, wherever, and it's like all of a sudden it's oh, it's all this hoopla with this guy. I mean, wh how did you take that? You know, honestly, like I said, I try to focus on myself and. Mm -hmm. I try not to listen to all the outside noise in the media and that sort of thing and um, just really talk to the people closest to me um, in, in my circle and, and just do what's best for me. Um, like I said, just trusting God and his faith and um, just showing me where, where he wants me to be. And um, I felt like this this is where he wants me to be at this time. So, In your mind, regardless of who they brought in, do you feel like you should have a leg up on everybody because of the experience? Well, I think it's just something, you know, everyone has different um, tangibles to bring. Um, obviously, for me, I, I have a little bit of experience, and um, I'm just going to try to use that in, in my advantage. And um, like I said, just learn from last year and what I've been through and 
um, just trying to improve from last year um, to this year. So you, you said you and Quinn are friends. Mm -hmm. Give us an example of you guys being friends. Um, I mean, we've just always got along since he's gotten here. Um, he's a great guy. Um, you know, we help each other um, during certain times, and um, obviously we're competing, but we're rooting for each other at the same time. And um, ultimately, we want what's best for the team. So. Oh, when, you when's your graduation date? When do you graduate? I believe I graduate in the fall of 2023. Could could be a little off on that, but I'm pretty I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> pretty sure. But that semester, like that Christmas, that semester. I, I believe so. Yeah. How do you work on your pocket presence outside of just live 11 on 11 reps in mm -hmm. practice, like during the summer? And yeah, um, it, it's honestly hard to really make it the same. You know, honestly. Um, you know, obviously you can have people throwing stuff at you, bags, and helping you move and stay in the pocket, but um, it, it honestly comes most from actual live reps. Um, so, you know, this year just being able to stay in there more, um, find easy completions, check downs instead of escaping, um, and just knowing the difference when it's good to escape and um, when to kind of settle, settle in there a little bit more. When the vocal leadership, um, that was a thing last year, Sounds like guys are, you know, saying you're being more vocal this year. Is that just from your experience? Or are you consciously having to tell yourself, man, I gotta, you know, be vocal every chance I get? Um, I think it's from experience and just um, being here. But you know, also it's something that I've wanted to um, improve on, especially in the off season and and kind of rally the team. So um, you know, it, it's something that I've been emphasizing for myself. And obviously, um, you can always. Uh, get better at aspects like that. So it's just growing in that in that spot and in that position for me. Are you talking to yourself in, in your car? I mean, what are you doing to, you know, be more verbal? I mean, honestly, I just let it come natural. Um, you know, you don't want to come off as fake or, or that sort of thing. So just come off as natural and, um, you know, use, use my personalities to my strengths and um, just don't be someone that I'm not, basically. What would you uh, give a part of a scouting report on Quinn? How would you describe his skill set? I mean, he, he's a great player. Um, you know, he, he can make all the throws. And, um, you know, it's been fun just being able to compete with him and, um, you know, learn from each other and, and that sort of thing. You all like compete away from, you know, golf, ping pong, anything like that. <laughs> we're we're going to play some golf one day, so maybe that'll come soon. So <laughs> I guess we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, I think we just push each other in competition, you know. Um, you know, he can make all the throws. and. Um, you know, I believe I can too. So it's just, you know, watching each other and just, um, you know, learning and taking a little bit of, you know, advice here and there from each other. What did you, you learn come by sitting on the bench uh, last, last season? What were some of the things you learned sitting behind Casey and then being on the sidelines that maybe make you a better quarterback today? Yeah, it's just all different perspectives, you know, um, just being able to watch and, um, you know, kind of gather my thoughts and, be really more of a, you know, a watcher than a player. You just get a different perspective on everything, and um, you know, I'll try to, you know, use that to my advantage. You won a competition to be the game one starter, and that changed. Did you seek any assurances that this would be a wide open competition this spring going into this? this one? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it will be. Um, you know, that's the plan, and ultimately, Sark Sark's the master, and he. He knows how to handle these situations, so I'm just, you know, trusting in him, and um, ultimately it'll be his decision on whatever he wants to do. So. Oh, you feel more comfortable with everything? No, I do. You seem yeah. More comfortable just sitting, you know, just sitting here. You seem mm. totally cool and chill now. No, yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, just time and experience, and yeah. um, just being in the system, football-wise, for another year helps a lot. So. That's cool. How hard is Sark on you guys? He's a college quarterback himself. How hard is he on you guys? Yeah, I mean, he coaches us really hard. Uh, he expects a lot out of us, um, but he does it in a great way. Um, so just having him around and be, having him as a mentor uh, is, is really special. He's one of the best coaches to do it, so I'm um, blessed, to, blessed to have him. Now, how does, how does he hear? want to change the offense? What are you all kind of emphasizing that you didn't have with the team last year? Um, you know, I think, I think the main thing just for everyone is just, you know, understanding – um, the playbook a little bit better and most guys have been in the system for you know two years now so everyone has a good idea of 
you know, the plays, but now it's really getting into the small details of the plays of what um, really make it go and um, just understand situations, um, everyone, uh, and just understand what um, to do and not to do because, you know, football's a game of situations, so it's just knowing how to handle that and uh, that sort of thing. How mobile is Quinn? I mean, we, we both play, um, you know, differently and uh, to our strengths. So, um, you know, he, he's a good player. So, what do you think of Malik? Time for one more. What do you think of Malik? Yeah, Malik's a uh, big guy. You know, he can he can spin the rock. Um, uh, he, you know, our quarterback room in general uh, is, is super close, and um, we have a great great group of guys um, to rally behind. And um, you know, he's a great player. He can spin it, and um, you know, I, I know once he gets healthy too, it'll start coming even easier for him. Hey Hudson, probably our last time to talk to you over the next couple of weeks. Outside of UT, can you give us a Garrett Wilson story as he gets ready for the draft and maybe a moment <laughs> where you were just like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> you know, I Garrett's a, a stud. Um, not only is, a, is he a freak on the field, but he's a, he's a great person, um, great teammate. And, uh, you know, just being able to play um, with him since high school and now seeing him, you know, going to be a first round draft pick is, is pretty special. And, um, I'm super happy for him. And one moment was probably, you know, I, I could honestly see it all the way, but um, we had a seven on seven tournament in the state championship and um, we had a Hail Mary. My sophomore year when I played receiver, actually, he had a Hail Mary catch. I think it was like two games in a row, but just unbelievable catch. And um, just the way he can control himself in the air. Um, it's pretty unbelievable, so I'm rooting for him. Last one, Nick. Yeah, Hudson, just curious, you know, if you had heard all of Morrow's comments from the other week, and, you know, if so, what do you think about him? What do you think about the form that he used and the message he sent? You know, how would you assess this team's culture right now? You know, all Morrow wants to do is win, you know. Um, Coach Sark and uh, our team addressed uh, the situation as a team and inside the building, and, um, you know, we're putting it past us and behind us, and, um, you know, we're good as a team, and that's ultimately what matters. And, you know, I think our culture has has gone up a lot, even from last year. You know, I think we're in a great position, and guys are really bought in, so I'm feeling really good about it. Welcome, Austin. Appreciate it. Thank you. I like that shirt. <laughs> why, are you, why are you in Austin? Why did you decide to transfer? Why did you take Texas? Yeah, you know, that's a good question. Um, <clears throat> so I grew up always, you know, watching the Longhorns play. You know, wanted to be in that burnt orange. Um, and, you know, there was a little obstacle in between, but, you know, I ended up here, and, you know, I'm very thankful for all the opportunities God has given me, and uh, I'm just excited to be back in the home state. When you, um, you know, this winter, you were one of the guys who was out there promoting the women's basketball team. Um, you obviously started to get along with your teammates. How has that transition kind of integrating yourself into this community <coughs> gone? Yeah. Um, you know, me and a couple guys went out, obviously, and supported the, the women's basketball team. And, um, you know, I feel like uh, I feel like more people should go out and support, you know, other teams instead of just, you know, being friends with just the football team or just the baseball team, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, it, it, I feel like it connects, um, it connects teams well. And um, from then on out, uh, just builds, builds good friendships along the way. When you talk about just being able to have a fresh start here at Texas to be able to put everything from the past behind you and be able to start new over here. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, Coach Sark once told me, um, you know, that's why the rearview mirror is so small and the, the windshield is so big. You know, um, you kind of put the past behind you and just focus on focus on what's ahead. And I'm, I'm super excited about what's ahead for sure. When the, uh, I mean, the comfort level in the offense how would you describe the offense, the voluminous nature, whatever, and your comfort level? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, as of right now, I feel pretty comfortable with what's been installed. And, um, you know, I'm excited to, excited to keep learning because obviously I have a lot of learning to do uh, within the offense. But as of right now, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. How would you describe it? Describe the offense? Yeah. Um, you know, it's a great offense. Uh, I love the schemes Coach Sark has put in. And, you know, obviously he knows what he's doing because it's it's worked at other places for sure. How's it different from the Columbus scheme? <clears throat> um, you know, some of it's the same, just different verbiage. Um, but obviously, every offense has their certain kinks to it and all, and stuff like that. I would when say everybody, everybody wants to play. I 
obviously. I mean, did you see how CJ was doing? And did you think, oh, okay, maybe I need to find somewhere else? I mean, what, what went into the actual decision? Uh, you know, obviously, CJ is a great player, a great human being. Right. Uh, we have a good relationship. And uh, I'm super pumped for what he has in store for the sure. for um, the rest of his career and uh, stuff like that. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, um, at the end of the day, I just, you know, wanted to be closer to my family sure. um, and friends and stuff like that. So. And you wanted to be here all along. I mean, you committed here initially, right? And then under Hermes, and then that changed for whatever, for whatever reason. Right? Or maybe, can you tell us why? Why did that change? Um... You know, I feel like I kind of committed um, more emotionally sure. than, um, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, I ended up where I think I should be, and uh, that's all there is to it. So how, much, how much rust you got? How much rest? Rust. Oh, it's rust. Like <laughs> school, really. uh, you know, I feel like these, these past couple weeks, I've been knocking some rust off for sure with the, all these reps I'm getting. Yeah. Uh, in spring ball, so um, as of right now, I feel like I feel pretty comfortable. That whole decision to go early, do you still think that was the right one? You, like that right <clears throat> you know, um, like I said before to his question, it's all in the past. Uh, I try not to focus on all that. I try to just, you know, keep my keep my keep tunnel vision and uh, focus on what's ahead. If you said you want to focus on what's ahead, but you know, what I guess did you take away from your time in Columbus? You know, you know, what did you learn? What did you gain? You know, what did you take away that that was valuable to you? Yeah, you know, I learned uh, I learned a lot, and I'm um, I'm super happy that I learned uh, as much as I did. And um, <clears throat> you know, Ohio State has a great coaching staff, uh, a great offensive coordinator, and Coach Day, and a great good QB coach with um, Coach Dennis. And um, you know, I learned a lot up there, and I'm thankful for my time up there. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm excited to see excited for the future. Coach Sarks um, showed you and um, put some uh, tape of Matt Ryan getting after his receivers, Julio Jones and Mohamed Sanu. Uh, what, what did you take from that, and uh, what message do you think he was trying to send? Uh, you know, I think that <clears throat> he was kind of trying to try to light a fire under us, um, you know, because Julio Jones is one of the best receivers in the NFL. And, you know, when he showed us that Matt Ryan still yells at Julio Jones after, you know, all the time they've spent together, um, it kind of, he kind of just, I think he's trying to show us that it's okay for us to be vocal and, you know, because the receivers don't care if you yell at them at the end of the day. Um, I feel like they almost want that, you know. Quinn, did you get hit at all yet? Like, I know you got to wear the no touch jerseys. Like, when was the last time you, you got tackled or took a hit? Uh, like a full hit? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Um, probably in high school, Big honestly. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You talk about the double hernia surgery and coming back from that and and fighting for your team and that last uh, season at South Carolina. Yeah, that was that was tough for me, um, <clears throat> but I put a lot of work into it and I learned a lot about my own body, you know. Um, and I take my body a lot more serious than I did, <laughs> and and I feel I feel like that almost helped me, um, just because now I actually take care of my body. Um, you know, I go to treatment, all this stuff. Um, but yeah, it was tough for sure because I wasn't fully fully healed. Um, but you know, I, I felt like I had to just for the team, and you know, I'm 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 excited. I'm I'm, I'm glad I did because of the run we made. I'm curious about the, I'm curious about the process of you handling the attention. You know, Ohio State fans are crazy. We know that Texas fans are on that same level, right? You have a phone, so people blow you up. I mean, how how do you take how do you intake all this hype and process it? Yeah, you know, I, I, I really don't. Um, at the end of the day, uh, I just got to focus on myself. Can't focus on the outside world. Can't get caught up in all that or or um, you won't you won't make anything out of yourself. Yeah. Sounds like Saturday you had a pretty good scrimmage. What are your thoughts on Hudson and um, the competition and just the quarterback he is? <clears throat> yeah, Hudson is a great quarterback. Um, and we have a good relationship, and I'm excited to – Excited to work with him and, you know, keep going in the spring. Sounds like Saturday you had a pretty good scrimmage. Um, people were saying it was a show. Um, how would you rate your progress so far and how would you rate your performance in the scrimmage? Yeah, you know, it was fun to be back out there uh, and kind of like a game type feel because, uh, you know, it's been a while. So just to be back out there, it was a lot of fun. And, um, you know, the receivers are making great plays out there and 
you know, it was, it was a it was a good scrimmage altogether. You got some Don't new NIL deals here. Uh, you're good, Kevin Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, that's kind of personal right now. So, but. Uh, We'll see. Well, don't, don't leave without telling us about the mullet, though. We gotta know, yeah, we gotta, we gotta know about the mullet. How long is that gonna go? It's gotta go? get back to reality in class. <laughs> right. I got class at 11, but it's just hair at the end of the day. <laughs>